They all see it. Mm -hmm. All of them. All of them. From the father to the son to the grandson. Mm -hmm. Why? Because of, if you see the last, friends, if the last thing, the book of verse 38, read in 38. Read that verse, brother. When it comes to the last, he was in. He was the son, he lost his little son, he said, his little mm -hmm. son, he lost his little son. Yeah. So we're right back to the, 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 the original scene mm -hmm. that Adam was in. Mm -hmm. Right? Amen. And so all of became affected by that one scene. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you read Romans, you need to understand that uh, uh you, you, your sin is your personal sin didn't cause you to be sent to deal with Adam.
I put it on there. Okay.
it is written, He shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou shalt dash thy foot against the stone. Mm -hmm. And Jesus answering said unto him, It is said, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. And, and you, you all ask yourself, well, it, what, what Jesus is saying, is that scriptural? In other words, the best way to study the Bible is when you read something, go back and see if you find it in the Word. Mm -hmm. So look at what Jesus said. That's verse 4 is in the word in, in the Old Testament. And he also says in verse 12, and Jesus has been said unto him, it is said, thou shalt not tell the Lord thy God. So if you want to go back and research, look on your phone, Google and say, where is that in the Bible? Mm -hmm. Go to Deuteronomy. What I'm showing you is Jesus stuck to the text. He, he didn't go outside the word when, when he was going against Satan. He, he stuck with Yes, Jesus was letting us see how to be victorious in life. Every trial, every affliction, every tribulation, everything, we, we stick to Scripture. We stick to speaking and believing Scripture. Because it's his word and not ours. He's obligated to answer his own word. And everything is stick to the Scripture. Hold fast to the word of God. Yes, Lord. No matter how long it's taking, you can continue to, to, to meditate on the word. Everybody got to do Romans uh, 6. Amen. Amen. Jesus said something that God he had already written. Or him and his father had already written. Do Romans 6 and 16. Can you just say again? Amen. Amen. Jesus has the perfect recipe. And doing battle, mm -hmm. right? In and battle. what is it? In battle. It's scripture. It's scripture. That's all the whole all the prayer of scripture. Mm -hmm. He should, everybody got it in verse 16? Yes, he should not. not tempt the Lord your God as you tempted him in, in the past. Mm -hmm. You know, what is he doing? Jesus, Jesus is quoting scripture to Satan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's, that, that's it. And, and, and once he do that, he, he, he don't do anything else. It's like, God, how, how is this going to help us when we're going through? Mm -hmm. that's, that's, you know what? That's the only thing the Holy Spirit reminds you of. Amen. The Holy Spirit is a, is, is a um, person from God. And they, you know what he'll remind you of? What you was already studying. Yes, Lord. He don't, he don't give you nothing you, you, you haven't learned. Because you, you don't know what's right. But what is what if, if as you studied and read the Bible, the Holy Spirit's job is to, is to bring you back, back to in memory. remembrance yes, of the word of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And that's all he does. Constantly, he, he reminds you what Jesus has already said. Yes, Lord. And, and once he brings it back into your remembrance, he wants you to believe that what he said will come to pass. Amen. He wants you to believe despite the distractions, what, what your eyes are seeing, the Holy Spirit said, no, no, this is what Jesus said. In other words, God and his target has appointed a person in the Godhead just to remind the body of what Jesus said. Amen. 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 The Holy Spirit is the most important witness we have. Mm -hmm. In Hebrews, the Bible says the Holy Spirit is a witness to what Jesus has said about what he's done about sin. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit testifies that what Jesus has done about sin is a benefit for all that believe. Mm -hmm. Meaning, not only did Jesus become sin, the Bible says Jesus has put away sin once or else. Mm -hmm. That means the Holy Spirit has to convince you as a believer that you are Dead, D-E-A-D, to sin, even though you sin. <laughs> you say, sin has no more voice. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, go to the graveyard and just begin to stole a dead person. Mm -hmm. They're not going to say nothing to you. They go. No. And, and, and so that's what God has done to sin. He, he, uh, he caused us to be dead to it. Not that sin is dead. We are dead to it. Mm -hmm. 
Hallelujah. So it's a way to understand scripture when, when Jesus says something, it, it's not uh, no, no, no overtaking it. It's not no uh, uh, take that out of the way. <laughs> no. <laughs> only thing, the only person that had power to take something out of the way was Jesus. And what did he take out of the way? He was the Lord. He nailed it to the cross. He fought for the God. Jesus did something that no other human being had the power to do. He took God's very own law and he, he took it out of the way. That man can come in boldly to the throne of grace and, and make his petition known. He split the, the middle wall of petition. So up from the top to the bottom. He's done something that most believers don't understand as part of their salvation package. He's done some things that where we can forever live victorious even in, in, when we sin. Yeah, because he said, I, I, I've caused you to be dead to sin. I've caused you to be dead to the law. All that's in Romans. Mm -hmm. He said, I became sin. And, and, and what I'm saying, everything Amen. I'm telling you is evidence, evidence, mm -hmm. evidence, evidence. The Bible is a book full of the proof of the word of God. Mm -hmm. He does this so when we get uh, uh, off track, when we uh, become forgetful, when we you know, get bogged down and say, oh, go back and read. The Holy Spirit said, go back and read what Jesus said. Hallelujah. He said, he's Hallelujah. Going to Jesus. For all. And, and then he goes forth, he goes forth and says, says that uh, he, he's the finished work. Yeah, Jesus finished everything. I mean, Jesus didn't leave nothing on the table that we you know, would have to go back and read. We know people. Think they got to redo and, and use the law to do it? No. Uh -huh. The law don't have to do nothing, um, uh, but, but Jesus had already finished. Mm -hmm. The law don't have to go back and change nothing Jesus said. And the Holy Spirit is our witness to keep that intact. The law ain't going to go against the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So the Holy Spirit keeps what Jesus said intact for every generation to the end of time. Uh -huh. He keeps it intact. Mm -hmm. say, you know, I, 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 I said, yeah. I'll set up, I, it's finished. Good. In other words, the perfect will of God has been done through me. That's right. For your benefit. Even Satan himself, you know, can't go beyond that. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank God for Jesus. He can't do any of those things. Thank you, Father. Because what? Jesus has yeah. done something, and, and the Bible says, Hallelujah. What Jesus has done, the Holy Spirit has sealed. Mm. You can't My get all these other things. And then go back under the law and, 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 and try to redo something that uh, the new covenant has already paid for. Mm, my love. The Bible says we are bought with his cross price. We're bought, he's paid for it with his blood. Yeah. Mm. He, he made it so secure that when we come before him in heaven, it won't be not one excuse given. Period. Say, well, they start, you know, they raise the taxes. Uh, you, know, uh, uh, you know, the job cut off. None of that. Uh, no, because he said, no, 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 I, I told you, I took your little bit. Yeah, and I made yeah. more, did you hear me feed them 5,000? Yeah, yeah. Did you hear me cooking bread? Yeah. Feeding them, coming off the, the store. Yeah, right. Right. He made for them. That's right. He said, no, you, you know, we, we can't come and say, well, you know, during my time, it was a bad time. Uh, Jesus said, when I was born, they killed all the bait, the boy, yeah, the boy, the
hear me? Oh, hear me, Jesus. Hear me, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Yes, Lord.
when my father is giving me heaven and earth and all power over both of them. But he wasn't finished yet. Go back to Luke. Go back to Luke. He told Jesus, I'm going to give you all power. I'm going to give you all power. Because he, he said that, will I give you and heard them, but that is delivered unto me. So you know then, somebody else was on him. It was delivered unto him. Delivered unto him. And to whomsoever I will like you. But you know, he, the devil wasn't finished. The devil said in verse 7 of Luke, if thou therefore will worship me, mm -hmm. all shall be thine. Mm -hmm. But Jesus knew that they, the one going to bow is not me saying it's you. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, 
Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Not prevail. 